Well, for dinner tonight, we are boring once again. Um, potatoes, we have enough left over for tomorrow, and frozen yellow and green string beans. And then on the top, cauliflower and broccoli for me, and cauliflower and broccoli for my mom. And let me just say, without my Mrs. Dash to sprinkle it with, I don't like it at all, but using this makes the meal good. It's amazing. This is the kind of meal where you just set it and forget it. It's so easy. I love it. All you have to do is carry a little timer around with you and it'll let you know, you know, when to come and check it. I've got them timed pretty well. We have quite a bit of fruit flies hanging around. I notice that when I have a lot of fruit in the house, like bananas, and then they start to turn really ripe, the fruit flies just magically appear. So I saw this on YouTube. Um, it's a little trick to trap them. So what I did was I got a glass and then I put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it and an orange peel. And then I sort of made a cone out of a piece of paper. So once they get in there, hopefully they'll just get trapped and stay in there. Um, I didn't do a very good job making the actual cone, so I used some tin foil sort of to cover it. It just wasn't big enough, but I'm going to give it a few hours and see what happens. Here's my blog. It is embracingmywellness.wordpress.com and right now I'm just um, working on updating. Usually once a week I'll update the links that will link right to the um, YouTube videos. So as for my weight loss, I was just taking a look because it's a good way to see how I've been doing. So the weekly weigh-ins, I list um, the week and then the date and then how much I gained or lost. So week one I lost three pounds, week two I lost three pounds, week three lost one, week four lost one, week five, uh-oh, <laughs> that's when I gained a pound. And week six I lost a pound, week seven I stayed the same, and then week eight, which I'm just working on posting it up on here now, um, I lost two pounds, so not bad. So overall, let's see, three, six, seven, eight, back to seven, back to eight, nine, ten. Lost ten pounds in eight weeks, which is, I mean, it's not great at all, but slow and steady, you know? I don't mind it coming off slow because, like I said, this isn't a diet for me. I'm going to be doing this just forever, you know? It's just going to... I'll always have cravings, um, but I'll figure out other things to make that are healthier to curb the cravings. I guess that's my main goal. As for my little science experiment, it is, well, it was working really well, but I didn't really secure the top tight enough, I don't think, so some of them are smart enough to find their way out. See, I've got two sitting right there. I think I'll have to redo it, but look at how many it caught. I think I counted like close to 10, but like I said, they're getting out. So I'm going to fix this, but it, it's working really well. I decided to enroll in like a little course. Um, it's YouTube, but it's uh, Creator Academy. So it's kind of like going to school online to learn everything you can learn about YouTube and how to improve your channel. So right now I'm on this Grow Your Audience course. It's like a boot camp and it's pretty neat. Um, it's got like some things you can read. It's actually a two-week course but it's self-study so you can really do it uh, at your own pace. And you can get a certificate at the end of the course if you do like do it within a certain time frame. I've already missed the time frame, so I'm just going to do it at my own 
at my own pace. So there's a course checklist and yeah, it's a video and then you read and you can interact with other people who are taking the course. So yeah, I'm excited. I have a lot more to learn about YouTube and I very much want to make my channel the best it can be. So the first the first course is about your title and thumbnail. So yeah, it's pretty interesting and I think I'll get a lot out of it. I'm about to walk on the treadmill. I'm just going to do 10 minutes on here because I'm worried about it overheating. Um, but I will continue to clean the bathroom and I will do a little more than yesterday. Like I am going to do the actual um, the glass doors and the shower wall if I can, but the doors probably will take me quite a while. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that and uh, here is a Sears catalog that I got in the mail and one thing with buying clothes, like when you're trying to lose weight, I'm doing mine very slowly, I'm not, uh, I'm not really rushing it, it's kind of like a forever thing for me instead of a diet, so I will probably lose weight slowly, but at the same time I don't want to go and buy clothes when, you know, they're going to be too big eventually, so, but you know, you do need a few pieces, so I don't know. I'm going to look through it and just see if there's anything in there kind of worth worth it because Sears is a little bit expensive so oh yeah and this week well actually last week I lost two pounds so I'm pretty excited about that as well oh yeah also I'm gonna be watching good old Big Brother I'm so excited I did 10 minutes and I'm going to get right on to cleaning the bathroom. I'm really looking forward to this meditation online. It starts August 11th, so, you know, about a week or so I will start to do it. And I think it's, yeah, 21 days, so you do it every day. I'm really interested to see if it's going to, like, relax me more and help with anxiety. I think it will.